All right, let's do those new releases. Yeah. All right. So many. We've been playing, all three of us have been playing. All Hot three of Wheels. us have been playing a big one. Hot Wheels Unleashed. Is that a big one? I don't think that's a big one. I think it's a big release because I've put in like a thousand hours into it already, it feels like. I don't, I don't know that that's how you <clears throat> categorize that. That is how okay. I categorize a big release. Also, it's, why? It's, as my son described it, it's his favorite game of all time. Why? Because he has a lot of fun playing it. Why? He thinks the cars look great. And that thinks, I agree. And he says the tracks are very inventive and challenging. So that's what he likes. Cool. But he still can win. So he finds it challenging, yet he also enjoys the fact that it's easy enough for him to still win. Yet he's he playing still on feels easy. like he's, he's playing on easy. The game is fucked up because it's too hard on normal and too easy on easy. And I how, turned it off after far, like 20 minutes. Well, see, that's the problem. It gets harder. You see, the uneasy. first few races in the game mm. are easy on easy. But as you play more races, mm. I know this is going to sound crazy because it's basically the basic concept of all video games. Mm. As you get further along in the game, things become more difficult. I know, but it just seemed like the gameplay loop was um, earning virtual currency to unlock blind boxes to do... To do yeah. the same races basically over and over again. No, the tracks are all very different. I mean, but you're going in a circle. No. It, For the most part, some, you, of, some of them have a just a straight the shape. Shot, I mean, but, I don't yeah. mean the shape. You're you're doing. I mean, but laps. there's like there's loop de loops and there's sure, sure. there's super jumps mm -hmm. and in the currency that you get, like an unlock kit or a, the battle. Yeah, but are you gonna? Uh, Cheapy's not going to be be making his own Hot Wheels tracks. No, but there's a lot of tracks. Right, but but, but that's what some of the stuff you're unlocking is. Yeah, pieces. most of what, a lot a lot of Hot what you unlock is pieces to do things, and that's sort of yeah. No one cares about that. Uh, that I'll give you, but to say that you're unlocking the currency to unlock the new cars isn't. I'm just saying no. I, I don't, well, parrot. I'm saying the the gameplay is just like it's a, a very basically a very standard race. And the, in terms of like, it's like basically I, I like a kart I'm, racer. I'm trying to figure out how that makes it different than, say, Super Mario Kart. There's a lot of difference between this and Super Mario Kart. I mean, you're driving a, ra a kart in a circle. With, with weapons. So it's the weapons is the difference. It's just like all you're doing, like, it's very like simple driving in terms of like yeah, you're, there's no weapons. You you're can't, just like driving. the collisions of, between the cars is very kind of like uninteresting so like you can't it's like the, the physics is a little uninteresting i think is what i'm saying and the races I, I, themselves I are a little what, interesting i understand i, I mean i think that I, there's i, I feel I, like i'm going to toe the ground between the two of of you here because i think that there's certain physics elements of this game that are unique and special to this game that i haven't seen much in other games and that's mostly when you catch air and you can fully control the car while it's in the air to control your landing and land you mean, in a way that the cars games disney's yeah. pixar's car sure there's a lot of games <laughs> that use that but. yeah i'm just saying they do a good job at that i also think the tracks are kind of crazy like the the ones that are really ornate and large and have a lot going on and a lot of unique elements are unlike tracks i've seen in other games i think that you've only played 20 minutes and you I'm 30% in. I'm 25% in. I understand Cheapy's criticisms and your praises. The cars <laughs> I, look amazing. I, I like they did an amazing job with the way the cars look. They couldn't really look any more realistic. Like when you open those boxes up and they thing up, it's like, wow, realistic there's Realistic for a Hot Wheel. Yes, it yeah, looks like look a fucking like big Hot Wheel. It's Wheel. just on your screen. It's, um, it's really amazing. And the livery editor, which it's basically the same type of functionality as the Forza game. So you can just rely on all the people, other people to make these really involved skins for the cars and you can just download them like that. And so now your car can look totally different. Like, you know, you can download all and these things. And it's easy things. to use too. I tried yeah, it's just like Forza. One. It's like, yeah. really, that's, that part is awesome. But at the end of the day, you're really just opening up Hot Wheels packages. And it's a good loop. I think it's a, yeah, I okay. think it's a perfectly Maybe I'll fine give loop. It a, I think, so... Dash was playing with this this with me, obviously. And as as a four year old, he has excellent insight to to the the highlights and the and the, the potential issues that this game has. Mm -hmm. So he likes all the cars. 
that that's all cool. Like every time we open up a blind box, he runs to the other room and goes get and gets the exact Hot Wheel that <laughs> that is in the game. Um, so he he likes that. He likes the tracks that have the monsters. So the spider, the scorpion, the the things that are like more interactive than just the tracks, right? There's there's like an element that's like, oh, this is kind of unique. He doesn't like that all the environments seem the same to him, right? Like because it's, it's like you're like, in the basement. There's like, like six environments and sure all the tracks are different, but it's like, oh, we're, we got to race here again. And, and it's, it's like all of the tracks, it's a lot of orange, right? Like all the tracks are just orange and it's the same backgrounds yeah. over and over again. Um, and he doesn't like, like Cheapy was saying, he doesn't like that there's not really great collision. Like he wants to be able to wreck other cars. It's and... kind of like the fun part of playing with Hot Wheels is That's smashing actually, them together. I will say that might be Elliot's big complaint too. When he hits the back of a car, it tends to just kind of stop you. Right. Instead Doesn't feel of realistic. instead of making the car either you know fly out of the way or something. It's and it's inconsistent especially when he's with boosting. That. Yeah. It's inconsistent because sometimes if you have like a car that has a little bit of a wedge, you can get other cars to like fly out of the way um so there's something there it just doesn't seem like they've they've really honed in on that mechanic for this game next year's version is going to be fucking sweet it's a good game it's just it's if you like the previous hot wheels games this is a better version of those hot wheels games it's it's nothing that's particularly new from the hot wheel games i'm hoping that they put a lot of these like uh movie cars in the new forza game that's what I'm hoping for. Because yes, I would like to play with Kit and uh, De- the DeLorean. Yeah, and, and it's it's a perfectly acceptable sure. racing game. He he can win games or he wins races pretty easily on on easy. Um, the at the same time, like he's been playing a lot of Onrush. Do you remember Onrush? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been playing a lot of that, and he's been playing that Burnout Paradise uh, remaster. And just the the difference in like collision is pretty big to him. That's the a major. I mean, that's like the major gameplay element of Burnout is smashing into cars and making awesome crashes. I mean, right. I love, yeah. And 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 similarly on Onrush too, right? Like, and it's I don't know. There there's something. There's a spark missing from this game beyond just the oh yeah, you you made a nice looking Hot Wheels game that has varied courses but not much varied visually mm. fair well said well wrapped up that's what he said that was his his words that, exactly what dash said yeah yep all right got it what else we got in new releases i've been playing some uh you sent me a code gp i did connect tank yes have you been playing that as well i checked it you... out for about 20 30 minutes i like it i think it's pretty fun I did you play by yourself or yeah I, I played it by myself. The best way to describe Connect Tank, I would say, is sort of imagine a game like uh, Overcooked, but you're inside a tank and you're fighting another tank, and you're basically making the ammunition for the tank, and when it's ready, that you watch the tank on the top shoot it out, and you're you're basically have you're shooting bullets at each other and trying to shoot out shoot down each other's bullets. Yeah, and there's a couple of different like uh gameplay mechanics mixed in with that too, right? Like there's there the beginning stage you have to lay out your conveyor belts that all your ammo goes down through and that's a little puzzle element. Mm-hmm. You want to do it quicker than the other guy so you can start shooting stuff faster. Yep. And then there's a rock paper scissors element to the the bullets that you're shooting where they're red, yellow and blue and I don't remember which one trumps the other, but right. it's rock paper scissors. Uh as well as you're either shooting, there's two different paths that you're shooting on as well. Um, so there's that element, and there's also like a overall, like you get different types of ammo that have different speed and damage, and and you're building different tank robots as well. And so there's a lot going on. I think it it's got that we've got a bunch of different things happening at the same time that you have to deal with. Yes, that's its main uh, mechanic, and it, it's 
it's cute. Seems it's like it's like made a, for it's got like a four player co op, I think. So it seems like that would be pretty wild to try that out. But I'm on PC and I don't know. Is it on? Yeah, I've been playing on PC as well. It is on consoles as well. Yeah. Yes, I think. Um, yeah. That, do you know that's a Spencer Yip game? Remember Spencer? I did not know that. No. Yeah, I remember Spencer. Yeah. That's a Spencer game? Yep. It's good. Yep. Nice. Thorbon hooked us up with those codes. I guess uh, Spencer gave them to Thor. Nice. Yeah, so that's Connect Tank. I feel like I've been playing something else from this. What else would we have? Um, Sable. Sable came out. I've been playing that. Oh, I played a little bit of that too. Uh, I know I, you don't like it that much. It's all right. It's a li- it's it's a little slow for me. I did collect all the parts for my sled thing, uh-huh. speeder bike. Uh huh. It still controls like a wet noodle. Yeah. So yeah, I kind of you have to I'm, get a better bike. Yeah. You have to get more parts later. It's basically uh, Sables and is an exploration game. Like there's no combat. It's it's you know, it's most it's story and gorgeous visuals. It's got like this hand drawn look to it. Very colorful pastels. Like it looks like a painting, like a moving painting. It is a little glitchy on Xbox. It, the frame rate is not solid. It's like it's skipping frames. It's it's very noticeable. It's it sucks because I I like on one hand I want to play the game and on the other hand I also want to wait for them to to fix it because I'm sure they will. It's on Game Pass and like mm-hmm. sure a lot of people are downloading it. Um, but it does. I mean, the one of the major draws of the game is just how pretty it looks and it it definitely ruins the look of the game. Um, but it is like a straight up like exploration and story game. Uh, and I, I really think it's a, it's how like a, far pretty, are you in it? I'm not that far. Okay. I've been exploring. I got the bike, the new bike I've been driving around. I'm able to afford some other parts and, uh, you know, yeah, it's, I think it's a little too, too slow. I think it's short me. though. I don't know how long it is. I'm not sure like how long, mm. but I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll keep you informed. It, there's a, it's too much back and forth also, which kind of turns it's me got off. Fast travel, fast travel. Did you know about the fast travel? You know what? I have something else that I'm playing right now that I'll talk about next week. And that's a little teaser for next week. Does it rhyme with fart by? I can neither confirm nor deny that. Or, okay. What else do we have in new releases? Um, Anybody play the new Diablo game or are we boycotting? I'm boy, boycott. No, I just didn't buy it. Right. Probably good. What were, what are the, I heard it's like kind of broken though, no? I have no idea. You know, I've never played Diablo 2. I played Diablo. Really? And I played a crap ton of Diablo 3, but I never got around to playing Diablo 2. I think it's time. Isn't that interesting, though? Not really. Very. See, it depends on who you ask. Let's see. It's got an 80% on Metacritic. Did you play the Addams Family yet, Ship? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, I have not procured the Addams Family <laughs> game to play, <laughs> but... You haven't uh, rushed out to try to get that? I will. Okay, good. Uh, it's, it's something, it's a four-player, like, co-op uh, game. So, definitely in my... There in are my, four people in your house. There are four people in my house. There are four people who enjoy Adam's family in my house. And I know that they would probably be very happy to send that to you. Um, I don't know. I think they would be. Who's they? The people. M- Morticia and uh-huh. Gomez. Yeah. Gomez Doesn't Adams. It? Gomez Adams texted me the other day. He goes, does Ship want a copy of this game? Oh, look, and I it's, said, it's and Thing. I said, it's Thing is here. It's a game. It's not my arm. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so That was a bonus for the people I, watching on Twitch. Thank you. I'm sure we'll play Adam's Family Mansion Mayhem. Enjoy that. At, at some point. Enjoy Did that. Did you see they uh, upgraded uh, Ghost Runner, GP? Upgraded to what? To Series X level graphics. Oh, I don't think I have that rates. on. I think I have that on PC. Uh, okay, well then, never mind. Unless it's a Game Pass. No, I know you had it. I thought you had it on the. I don't know, who knows I what to I check have. That out. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows. Uh, is that Did it? The... Check out uh, Centipede Recharged. Is that out? That is out. You know, I, I think I asked. Was out. I think I, I asked I got, for a review code. I got press clippings from it today. I feel like All I asked press for that. Email. It's nine ninety nine GP. Yeah, but I, you know, I don't really <laughs> want it. But if I can send it to me, I'll play it. Yeah. Look, here it is. Wait, review. Hi, David. I did request it. You didn't write back. Come on, Cody. What's up? All right. You didn't get a code from Cody? That sounds made up. 
<laughs> yeah, the guy's <laughs> name is Cody. Yeah. It's funny. Way to go, Cody. Oh, I should have made that joke. Come on, Cody. Where's my code? I thought your name was Cody. If you like, yeah, that's Cody's your job. Why won't you do your job? <laughs> it's, it's in your name. It's in your blood. It's in your DNA. Your parents knew what you were going to be doing. All right. Yeah. Anything that's else? That's why they named you Cheapy. That's right. That's, that's, I don't know if they named me that. They didn't? The people oh. named me that. No, they didn't. I did. Mm. What else? What else? Yeah, I enough? know that. Is it Lemonis Gate or Lemonai Gate? Like, is the S silent in that? Because that came out this week. That's on uh, the Game Pass also. Who is, I, what I is don't that? know much about it, but it's like a first person shooter strategy something or oh. other. I like one of those things. Yeah. I don't know. It looked interesting to me, but I haven't. Uh... It is a time looping turn based strategy shooter. Isn't that death loop? With revolutionary 4D tactical combat. 4D? So, so says the internet. I'm skeptical whenever <laughs> anybody says call something 4D. And it's made by your favorite company, Rat Loop Games. <laughs> <laughs> 